Welcome to RH Calc. This is a spreadsheet for calculating humidity and the heat index from a pair of humidity measurements. The pair of measurements could be, for example, wet and dry bulb shown in this worksheet, or relative humidity and dry bulb, which commonly would come from a data logger shown in this worksheet, or dry bulb and dew point temperatures, also commonly from a data logger uh, in this worksheet. If you wish to get a copy of the spreadsheet, please email me at savage at ukzn.ac.za. The spreadsheet works on custom views, which are listed alphabetically here. To invoke a custom view, for example, to look at the theory, press Alt-V-V and then navigate down to theory, double click on theory, and the theory will be displayed. The fundamental equation that is used is the ideal gas law equation that allows the calculation of absolute humidity from vapor pressure, molecular mass of water vapor, universal gas constant and gas temperature. The cal calculations are listed here, not all of them though. Most of them are empirical, some of them are quite simple and well known like the relative humidity and the vapor pressure deficit. Also calculated is the heat index, the mixing ratio, enthalpy and others such as mole fraction and molar volume. The terms are shown here and the units are shown here. Let's look at the measurement details. The measurement details are shown in columns U to AK and they are based on measurements using a slink psychrometer and measurement of wet and dry bulb. Let's look at the psychrometric chart. The psychrometric chart is the relationship between water vapor pressure and dry bulb temperature. This curve here is the vapor pressure above liquid water, the saturation vapor pressure, indicated by 1.0 or relative humidity of 100%. And there's 90, 80, all the way down to 10%. The vertical lines can represent the dry bulb temperature or in some cases the dew point temperature. The horizontal lines represent the water vapor pressure in kilopascals. And the slanted lines from top left to bottom right represent the wet bulb temperature in increments of 1 degree C. Beneath this chart, there is also the same chart but for water vapor density. The main chart is for water vapor and saturated water vapor pressure and the inset chart is for ice. Those charts are based on the psychrometric constant. Let's look at the psychrometric constants. There are four psychrometric constants. One for aspirated, one for non-aspirated, one for frozen wet bulb and one for unfrozen wet bulb. So the condition of the wet bulb has to be known for the humidity parameters to be calculated. If we look at the inputs for tea dry and tea wet, there are four inputs, altitude, tea dry, tea wet and the psychrometric constant and then all the other humidity parameters are calculated. The heat index is interesting, it's an index applied to adverse weather and its effects on humans, they're the different categories of heat index. It kicks in at a temperature of 26.7 degrees Celsius and relative humidity of at least 40 percent. And you can see in this particular case for a dry of 42 and a wet of 30, it's extreme danger category 1. Heat stroke or sunstroke is likely and it calculates a a heat index then of 55.5 degrees from a dry bulb of 42 because of the effect of humidity 42.5 percent. If we look at RH and dry bulb, 
similar inputs except in this case relative humidity instead of the wet bulb and there are the various calculations. There are two estimates for wet bulb, one using the Stoll 2011 method and another one where wet bulb is calculate, calculated as a weighted mean between the dry bulb and the dew point temperature and they weighted for the psychrometric constant and delta respectively where delta is the slope of the saturation water vapor pressure curve. Let's look at the dry bulb and dew point inputs. Dry bulb and dew point, altitude and psychrometric constant and again the outputs are shown here and the two estimates of wet bulb as well as the heat index mixing ratio and enthalpy. I hope you enjoy using this worksheet. Thank you.